Do you want to create professional looking ebooks but can't afford expensive software? As you all know, you watch this channel, Vellum is the best software in the market. But if you can't use it, or if you, if you run Windows, it might be too expensive for you. So what do you do? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quality ebook for all the major retailers using Drafted Digital's ebook formatting tool. Best of all, it's easy to use and completely free. My name is Michael Laram with Author Level Up, and I believe in helping writers write world-class stories better and faster. If you're new here on the channel and this is the first video you've watched, consider subscribing and click that little bell to get helpful writing videos every week. So we're talking about Drafted Digital's ebook formatting tool, and you guys know that I'm a big fan of Drafted Digital. <laughs> I, I love these guys because they get authors and they really understand what we need. And they offer a number of cool features on the platform, and the ebook formatting tool is great though I don't think a lot of people know about it. So let's jump into it so I can show you how it works. First, I wanted to let you guys know about the draft to digital formatting guidelines. So they have a, a, a small page on their website that basically outlines everything that you need to know about the ebook formatting tool. The big thing to remember is that there are two ways to upload an ebook to draft to digital The first is as an EPUB, which is probably what most people would do. The second way is as a Word doc or a rich text file or an ODT file, which is what triggers this ebook formatting tool. In fact, I didn't know it was there until I, I tested it out, I put it a Word doc for the first time. So this page will outline everything that you need to know about your Word doc to make sure that your Word doc meets their formatting guidelines when you upload it so that you won't have very many issues. And it does cover if something goes wrong, what you need to do or what kind of things you need to think about in tweaking your Word doc. So it's worth taking some time to read this. The page, I think it took me about five minutes to read. It's not very long. I will link to it in the video description so you can check it out. So let me show you how to use the tool. So we're gonna create a book on Drafted Digital. And so for time's sake, I have just created a book, a, a little mock-up template of a book. And so we're gonna upload our book and then wait for it to upload and get accepted. And then we're gonna hit save and continue, which is down here, which will take us to the layout tab. So I'm here in the layout tab. So I've just uploaded my book and here's where you can add your cover image and then where you can also add your your automated end matter, which if you haven't seen my video on that, be sure to check that out because that is a great tool that draft to digital offers. And then over here, you'll also see a chapter layout. Now, the reason I recommend that you upload a Word doc is because it will analyze your chapters and it will list them here. So if you have formatted your Word doc properly, then it will recognize your chapters, which is very useful because then you don't have to worry about building them. And if for some reason you do not see your chapters or you're missing a chapter or something is wrong, you can click on this little button here and they've got a tool that will basically analyze your Word doc again and make some recommendations to see what, what, what you can do. And if all fails, you can just go back to the formatting guide that I mentioned, and it will give you some tips on, on some things that you can do to your Word doc to help sort you out. All right, so I've hit save and continue, and this brought me to the tool. So if you are used to uploading EPUBs to draft to digital this is probably the first time you've ever seen this tool because it will only pop up if you've uploaded a Word doc or a rich text file. So what we can do is we can preview our document right here and as you can see I've got the content of my book over here and the nice part is that here's where you can start selecting your formatting so if you want drop caps um, and then there are different themes so there's the all-purpose theme and then there are different ways that you can customize the style of your document so for example this is D2D simple if you want modern watercolor it generates a nice little um, image on the top of your chapter and as you can just kind of go through these here you can kind of see how it impacts the design of your book so if you had a science fiction or fantasy book you would have some some different elements here which I got to give them credit for this because if you, you know, if you ever use vellum there really aren't that many styles that you can use this has probably tripled the number of styles that vellum has so kudos to draft to digital for really thinking about that and so then you can just basically define the style of your book. Got to check this little box here, you know, making sure that you, you approve it. And then you can download it in Mobi, EPUB, and PDF just to take a look at how it looks in a production type environment, right? On an e-reader or um, in Adobe Digital Edition. So let's go ahead and do that. 
All right, so we're going to preview the EPUB in an application called Adobe Digital Editions. Now, this is a free application that is created by Adobe, and what it is is it just allows you to throw an EPUB into it and just look to see if the formatting is what you want it to look like. So we're going to pull our draft to digital EPUB into Adobe Digital Editions to test it and see how it looks. Now, keep in mind you can also do this with Kindle files or Mobi files using the Kindle Previewer tool. Now, I won't cover that in this video, but I will link to it as well as Adobe Digital Editions in the video description. And as you can see, we've got our table of contents both as a page and, and the architecture of the ebook. All of that looks great. And then we've also got our formatting that we specified with Draft to Digital. So as you can see, the images showed up properly. Everything looks good from a spacing and a formatting perspective. And so this is a pretty respectable looking ebook. This is definitely on par with something that you could create with a tool like Scrivener or even Vellum. Naturally, there are some, some things that you may want to tweak, but this, this gets you a great looking ebook in almost no time. And that's why I really like this tool. And it's something that you should definitely consider if you don't own a Mac and if something like Vellum is outside of your budget. This is a great tool that will help you get where you need to be. And remember that the tool is browser-based, so the only thing you need to use it is an internet connection. That's a major plus. I have to caveat this with the fact that e this tool is for ebooks only. It does not cover paperbacks, but draft digital does have a tool in the works that is going to help authors with paperback formatting that should be coming very soon. So again, this is why I love draft digital because they make tools that really help writers. If, if for some reason you have not heard of Drafted Digital or you would like to sign up for an account, you can do that for free at no charge. Just visit the link in the video description and I'll get you hooked up. Now this is an affiliate link, so if you do sign up for an account, I do receive a small commission. But again, that's at no cost to you. And if you found this video helpful, it's just an easy way to say thanks. Drafted Digital is not sponsoring this video. I just really believe in their service so much that I wanted to do this video to show you guys how helpful it is. And if this is your first time watching, I would love to have you subscribe. Every week I do videos just like this to help you write better and write faster and use the right tools in your writing business to help you level up as an author. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.